And now with the number one, the live horse in the Daily Double, the field for the third race, and Shecky Lobel with Mike Lachance at four to five, the favorite, surrounded by double digits there. And looking at the back half of the field, you can see a pair of three to one shots, Diamond Artie and Assassinator. 81-25 the purse, here's the call of the third. And, uh, they're off. Wolfslaham up for the lead on the outside. Whisper Bay is there. Just in behind the lead, Shecky Lobel is out third. Mr. Cannon Drive is fourth. Armbro Ivanhoe guided over to the rail and uh, then followed by uh, Foolish Act. On the outside, it's Assassinator who's parked and moving up and Foolish Act goes on a break. Checking in behind was Nuclear Wolf. Also off stride at the back of the pack, Shaq Marvel. The field strung out past the quarter mile mark in 28 and 3 fifths seconds. And it's Whisper Bay on top as they continue on down the back stretch. Shecky Lobel will come up to take the lead now. Wolf's Laheim and behind him third, a gap of three to Mr. Kennan Drive fourth. Armbro Ivanhoe is racing in fifth position on the outside. Assassinator is a reserved six. Now about eight lengths off the lead under a firm hold. Then it's Nuclear Wolf in the outer tier. Down inside, Foolish Act is back on gate. Then Diamond Arty, who's better than 11 lengths off the lead at the half-mile pole. Shack Marble trails. And they reach the half in 59 seconds flat. And the field now moves for the far turn. It's Shecky Lobel on top. Whisper Bay second. Mr. Cannon Drive now beginning to pick it up on the outside third. Bill O'Donnell turns Assassinator loose and Assassinator is moving strongly on the outside. Wolf's Laheim's now back fifth. On the outside, Nuclear Wolf is moving steadily sixth and Armbro Ivanhoe is down on the rail and Diamond Arty on the outside. They're coming to the top of the lane. Shucky Lobel still trying to hold on to the lead. Mr. Cannon drives right at his neck. Assassinator is third. Three quarters and one, 29 and one. At the top of the lane, it's Shucky Lobel to catch. Striding away here, it's Shucky Lobel on top now by two, Mr. Cannon drive. His second assassinator out for the final eighth in third. And then farther back, it's Diamond Darty who was far back early. And Diamond Darty is coming with a rush. Shecky Lobel trying to hold on. Diamond Darty gobbling up ground with every stride. And yes, gets there in the last stride. Picking up all the pieces. 0 for 12 going in. Diamond Darty comes out a winner. Diamond Artie, four-year-old by Artie's Dream. You'll see here, fourth over, Dave, and that's not really the trip to have around this track. Once Lachance put the four to five favorite, Shecky Lobel, on the front through a half of 59 seconds flat. It should have been lights out from there. Shecky Lobel just didn't come to play tonight, but Diamond Artie certainly did. Tipping off that fourth over cover, you'll see on the far left of your screen, here comes Diamond Artie, rushing up with some late speed to get it all done. O'Donnell from between horses with Assassinator. Second over, not all that impressive. But, Dave, if you looked at the big board before the race began, only three horses were less than 10 to 1. You box them up in the exacta. Here they are. Diamond Artie, new lifetime mark uh, by almost five seconds, 157 and 4. Eddie Davis in the bike for the victory. And at the windows, you get $823 and $220. Shecky Lobel, $240, $210. Assassinator, $260. The, the uh, exacta, a 7-2 combo worth $24.20. And the daily double, 1 and 7 alone. Lucky numbers comes back one hundred fifty seven dollars and forty cents. And unfortunately, we have some sad news to pass along. Popular trainer Jack Friedhoff died of a ruptured colon at the age of forty two this morning. Jack uh, had some very impressive horses in his uh, distinguished career, Dave. He trained the 1989 Four Leaf Clover winner, direct quote. That race went in 153 and 2. He also had some standouts. Alan Bell, Hilarion, who was a former Midlands pace winner, and also the outstanding open invitational pacer, Stonebridge Skipper. The official family and the staff join all of the fans in sending our deepest sympathy to the Friedhoff family. And we'll be back with more on our program after this. <laughs>